Hi everyone. So this is Starry. Uh, unlike those super adorable kittens, this is uh, our, one of our seniors. So she's 17 years old. You wanna wake up? I woke her up right before we started and then she decided she wasn't quite ready to wake up. Um, so Starry comes from uh, Prince George's County Shelter. Uh, one of our volunteers had worked with them previously, and um, the volunteers, the, the workers there reached out to her and said, hey, we've got this really, really awesome senior. Um, she doesn't belong here. Can you help out? And so we went and we pulled her and a couple others, and starry has been with me since November. This is mostly what Starry does. Uh, she likes to sleep <laughs> in a pillow fort. Um, you know, she also has some heated cat beds that she likes to sleep on. Um, you know, she's pretty typical for your seniors in terms of pretty low energy, but she does enjoy meals. Um, she is very excited about mealtime. You will never forget mealtime because she will not let you. Um, <laughs> but she, she has a couple of playful moments. Right now she is sharing uh, her residence with a few other cats, some fosters, some are mine. Um, she would pr probably prefer to be an only child, but uh, she actually does quite well with other cats as long as they respect the boundaries. Um, she is not scared to reinforce those boundaries. So um, make no mistake about it. She might be oh. getting up there in years, but she is, she's a spicy gal. Oh, wow. Uh, she looks beautiful. And I guess you answered one of my questions, which is how she gets along with other pets. Now, uh, can you describe a typical day in the life of Starry? You're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she will greet me when I come home from work if I have to go into the office or if I'm working from home. Sometimes she'll come out just to see what's going on, um, share her opinions on some things, and then she'll go back. Um, and take a nap somewhere, but she's pretty, she's pretty mellow. Uh, you know, she doesn't have a lot of, of wants, um, except for usually attention or food. Uh, food is always the top priority with her. Um, she likes to graze as opposed to scarf it all down. So that's actually quite nice. Um, you know, she, she is also a member of the clean plate club frequently. So with seniors, we always worry about their finicky behaviors and not wanting to eat very much. That is not Starry. Starry is always interested in eating. Um, when she came with us, uh, when she came to us, she was actually pretty emaciated. Um, we did a good job of getting her back to her former glory. Oh. And as you can see, she also really likes to be brushed, which is good because right now she's got her spring shed going on so she has a little bit more she needs a little bit more brushing right now but oh, she wow. doesn't have any mats she doesn't you know she's not showing any signs of, of issues with her coat she just likes it she says it feels really she just nice. enjoys the process yes. and uh so i do have an interesting question which is like if you would be asked to compare starry's personality to a famous person who would you choose to compare her and why oh she's mariah carey <laughs> she is oh Mariah Carey because she is tall. She has a beautiful vocal range. Uh, she can hit some high notes. She can hit some low notes. She can go loud. She can go quiet. But she is absolutely a diva. Um, anybody that's ever had a Siamese or a Siamese mix knows that they're known for their vocal um, component. She is very chatty, um, although it's really funny right now because she was screaming at me probably about five minutes before we started. Then she laid down and became really quiet. Um, but when she is ready to talk and share her opinions, she will share them. She's very particular about some of her things. So um, I have to arrange my pillows a certain way so <laughs> she has a nice little fortress around her um, so she can properly get cozy. Uh, her food must be fed in a certain location, otherwise she does not want to eat it. Um, you know, she likes, you know, certain parts of her pet where other parts not much. And so she, she reminds you which parts are the parts that she wants. 
but um but honestly she's just she's a gorgeous cat inside and out she's really a lovely lovely cat um she's she's very sweet and she's been nothing but absolute dream boat since she showed up um you know she she was pretty in pretty rough shape um she was an owner surrender we don't really know what the circumstances were um i have my sneak, sneaking suspicions that um, she was with an elderly person who who could no longer care for her. So um, that's how she ended up in the shelter, but she never belonged there. She always belongs on the pedestal because she is royalty. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for bringing her and showing her and hopefully she'll find a forever home today. She is absolutely beautiful.